everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. I'm so excited to share a project that I recently created and it's using the Just Like Magic from Frank Garcia Studio. Um, oh my gosh, it's so, so cute. So I did use um, some of, mostly the cut aparts and um, you know, so mostly these cut aparts and also the, uh, I've already showed you the shakers that I created with the four by six cut aparts, this one right here. And then um, just kind of made some of my own embellishments and then also used the uh, stickers. Oh, not this one, the, these stickers, so cute. So um, right away I knew I wanted to make a mini album and I was inspired by, I've been wanting to make this album by Bea Valent, I think, from Crate Paper. She had created an album a while ago, but it's more like a tag, it looked like more like a tag flip, but um, the spine that she used on it, she used some rings and actually I think she only used one ring and then um, some acetate. And I've been wanting to make one of those. And then I saw um, Tanil, who is Paper Milkshake. I've been kind of obsessed with her her videos. Um, I just love how like her videos are so bright and the colors that she uses. It's all pastels, and so it's just really fun. Um, I'll make sure I leave the links in the description box of these two ladies. So I was inspired by these ladies, and so I had to make one of these albums. So. Let me show you, look how cute. So let me go ahead and zoom a little bit so you can see a little better. Okay, so, and I'm sorry about the glare because I do have acetate in the front right here. Let's see, Ugh. okay, maybe that's a little better. I made a shaker. So, um, Paper Milkshake, she had created, um, I think a smaller album. It looked like it's smaller. This, my album is about, close to five and a half by five and a half uh, square. Um, hers, I think is smaller. And then she also used, um, I got the cover idea from her because she um, used one of her star nesting dies and, and she created a shaker in the front. And I thought, oh my gosh, I have to do like a Mickey head um, shaker in the front. So I actually, um, whipped out my Cricut <laughs> I haven't used in such a long time but I did because I didn't have a die that's you know I only had my Mickey punch um, so of course I had to had to um, whip out my uh, Mickey I think it's like a Disney cartridge and has all the you know the old um, like Mickey Mickey Mouse um, goofy Anyway, it's the Disney cartridge. It's an older cartridge. Um, so yeah, so I created my little shaker and it's so cute. And then um, this I fussy cut um, from the collection, uh, the, the ephemera. There's a butterfly right here. I added some Alina Craft uh, heart gems on there. I used Alina Craft. Um, oh, I'm loving her new sequence that she sent me. So I used these two right here. They're like teeny tiny um, flowers. So cute. So I used those. And then of course I used the Mickey ear, uh, the Mickey head sequence as well. And I've showed you guys this already. This one right here. And I used that in my sequ sequence mix as well and um, some other sequins that I have in my stash, like my cleaning company. I just like mixing things. And um, I basically like made this little sugar mix right here. So, um, and then I used some Prima flowers. So basically, I think I only used two different kinds. I'm really bad at using my larger Prima flowers. Um, I don't know why, but it's hard for me to use. Oh no, I didn't use this one. I used, the teeny tiny ones and I think one of these. Did I use this one? No. Oh my gosh, I have so many flowers, you guys. I've forgotten. Um, I use these. I love this size right here. And I don't put a whole lot of flowers when I create. I usually have like a three cluster 
um, three flower clusters. So that's what I did here. And they were already glittered, so I didn't have to do much. And then I used the puffy, again, the puffies. Um, this uh, die cut that I fussy cut. And then I fussy cut this one also. I thought that was really cute. And then this one right here, I originally had it on my Polaroid shaker, but I decided I wanted this in the front. So I peeled it off and um, I popped it up on dimensional. And I just, um, for my closure, I used the seam binding. And I haven't even put my charms yet because I'm waiting for um, some brads to come in. Because I want to put like a different brad. Um, this one here, I did use some flower brads, as you can see there, for the, not brads, I'm sorry, did I say brads? I meant eyelets. I used some flower eyelets, and, um, just really love the way this came out, and I love the colors, so let's go ahead, and I did stitch, and it's really sturdy, you guys. I did add some chipboard, but because this is, um... Uh, shaker. I wanted it to be like a through and through shaker, just like uh, Tennille did. Um, what I did is to make it nice and sturdy, I used like a, you know, just one of these um, cardstock so that that way the middle part is um, uh, open, nothing to obscure the the little window pane there that I <laughs> created, double pane. Um, shaker um, so and I was able to stitch through the cardstock not cardstock the chipboard that I use and it's thin one it's like a cardboard from one of like my packaging I think because I didn't want to use my really thick um, chipboard so anyway that's how that looks like and then this is how this one looks like. And just to cover up that little sign here, because it is clear, sorry, it is clear. I um, just, um, I traced this on another paper, this little sign here that I fussy cut. And I just made sure that that was right in the same spot on the other side, so. And it does shake. I hope I made sense there. I used these sequence um, stars. I love using these. These are from Cleaning Company. So I love using these. And I put some gems from Alina Craft. Um, I did use foam tape to pop this up just to give more room um, for my shaker bits. And that's the first page. And then I did use these rings right here. I um, I have a bunch of these rings and I bought them to use for my tag flips and I think I got them on Amazon so I got a bunch of different colors so I just used the blue and um, I want some I need some light pink ones which I have to get um, and they're only the one inch rings so I think I need to get the bigger ones like maybe the one and a half or one I don't know if they make one and a quarter inch um, and then this is a shaker that I showed you before and I did use a different um, sticker here because I had peeled that one that I put in the front <laughs> from here. I added more um, trims on the bottom and um, yeah, so these came out like that. Now I did finish the back because when I showed you guys my little Polaroid shakers, I didn't finish it. So I finally finished the back and again, I cut this from my Cricut. And I put photo, so that way I can put a little photo here, like maybe a little round photo. And I have lots of Disneyland pictures that I can put on there. And then here's my other one. Again, I just, all I did was add some trims to this one. So you guys have all seen this. They're all shaker uh, pages, Polaroid pages. And um, I used, again, my Cricut to cut out the Mickey head and also the um, the little, uh, mini, these right here, the little mini, uh, bows that I cut for my Cricut. And then I punched a bunch of these out too. So you're going to see this kind of, um, throughout the album as well. And 
I'm going to show you some embellishments that I put together too. There's Dumbo. So cute. I used uh, one of the tickets from the cut aparts. Really cute. Here's the next one. You guys have already seen this one. Um, but let me show you what I did with the finished page. This one's super bright because I did it in yellow. And I just cut this edge here because it was a little too big, but that's okay. Um, punched out another Mickey head there. Dreams come true. And I put the little Mad Hatter hat on this one. Just had fun with it. And it's only four pages, you guys, but super fun and super cute. And they're double-sided, so. Um, and I might add more pages. I don't know. We'll see. Um, here's the next one. So again, I can put a picture here and I can also put a picture down here. Um, I used another Mickey, I mean, mini bow and a bling from Alina Craft. More of my, um, cause I have a lot of these, um, uh, pom-pom uh, trims and then use some stickles on my little cut apart, uh, uh, cone, ice cream cone there. Use another one of these. And this is one of those, um, clear uh like a dewdrop gem from alina craft and again everything stitched and then for my last page i have my cinderella shoes there i fussy cut and then magical and then um here's the other thing that i fussy cut and then i use some purple trim and i use some rickrack trim above that and again i you know i have my um um Seam binding, and I think this seam binding, I think this is from um, my friend Christine. Hey, Christine, who is um, Shabby Pink House. I think she gifted me some of those. So, uh, and then the back just looks like this. I didn't do too much, um, just stitched it. But, oh my gosh, I love it so much. I love how this came out, the colors. And thank you so much, Tennille, for your inspiration, because I really liked how your albums um came out and so i might just make another one and um maybe you know do a star or a heart um depending on the paper that i'm gonna use but oh my gosh i love this collection from frank garcia so i loved it so much i actually um made like clusters so let me just show you this one really quick so i just these are the cut aparts um from his collection and I'm still gonna put some charms um, on here here's the pirate um, from the Pirates of the Caribbean Pirates Expedition and I used two tickets so I just kind of clustered these I don't know if I'm gonna stitch them I might we'll see let me zoom out a little bit okay and then um, here's the one with the popcorn and I just added some more of the um, Queen and Company stars. I love using these stars. And then here's another one here. And here I added the Mickey head on inside the teacup. I just cut a slit right here so I can stick the Mickey head in there. And then these are the fun treats that you find at Disneyland. And there's the carousel. And that's a tag. And I put some um, highlights. And then here's this one right here, the princess. Of course, I had to do the princess. Dreaming all day. Just um, did some stickling and added some bling and a sequin star on top. And then lastly, this one right here, my happy place. Just a very simple tag. And um, so I'll just be putting some, which I should have before I did this video. But yeah, I'll put some charms and a ribbon or something so that's what i came up with i love the way this came out so yeah i think i'm gonna do if i can't add pages to this then i'll just do another album and then um i can make like a little layout using these embellishments so that is my share for today stay tuned i do have a, a small haul video so i'll be uploading that soon so thanks so much for watching guys have a great day be safe out there you guys i know it's crazy, especially if you live in L.A. County. There's a lot of terrible things going on. I'm sure you guys are aware with, you know, the news um, coverage and all. But 
please stay safe and um, stay home because <laughs> it's crazy out there. So have a blessed day, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.